Hello my soccer universe. Well, we have a last international week of the year. Um, Champions League and Europa League action. So let's walk through them. which other games that are worth watching. I'm decided to wear a team where I'm looking forward to the game. Lask, of course. Um, yes, this is the Champions League patch because they played in the playoffs with that one. But yeah, they play Europa League. But uh, we have quite some um, interesting matchups because they are, especially in the Champions League, usually this time you have most of the spots decided, not so much this time around. And we start actually with a pretty big matchup um, on Tuesday uh, early, uh, 6.55 kickoff with Salzburg playing at home to Liverpool. That is basically, um, Liverpool needs a draw. If Salzburg wins, Liverpool can be in trouble because you would expect that Napoli gets the uh, point that they need against Genk. Napoli is point is sufficient. Um, in Group F, we have the big matchup between uh, Inter and Barcelona. Barcelona is already through, but uh, in, it's a vital thing, for, a vital um, game for Inter, because uh, Dortmund plays at home to Slavia Prague. Uh, should Inter needs to at least match the result of Dortmund to advance. Um, Dortmund needs to hope that Barcelona shows up with a better team. Uh, in Group G, um, it's the battle more or less between uh, Zenit and Lyon. We already have Leipzig qualified. Um, Zenit uh, plays away to Benfica and Lyon plays at home to Leipzig. So, um, a similar situation, the head-to-head -head uh, goes to Zenit. Uh, Lyon needs to at least match the results for um, Zenit to... Uh, no, uh, Zenit needs to at least match the results for Lyon to advance. Uh, but the game that I'm looking forward to is actually Ajax against Valencia. Uh, Ajax needs a point. It's a true final. Um, who Ever wins goes through a draw will help Ajax and then there's the wild card of Chelsea but Chelsea is playing at home to Lille where I would imagine that they get the three points so um, I think it's Chelsea and one of Ajax or Valencia to make it through and that uh, concludes Tuesday on uh, Wednesday the early games are between um, in the group C there is Schachter at home to Atalanta that's more or less a head-to-head, -head. and then City playing at Dinamo Zagreb. City already threw, uh, so that might play into Zagreb's hands, but um, you know, City with all those injuries, I'm not sure what squad they will actually field. Zagreb needs to hope for that, Schachter needs to get probably a win against Atalanta. If Atalanta, Atalanta win, they need to hope that um, City at least gets a draw against Zagreb doesn't seem all that impossible. Then in the late games, uh, Group A all is decided. We have uh, PSG playing at home to Galatasaray and Club Bruges plays at home to Real Madrid. There is still the head-to-head -head who goes into the Europa League between those two with Bruges holding a one-point advantage. So it needs to be seen if anyone can get something from the big boys. Uh, similar situation in Group B, but there it's a head-to-head. -head. Uh, Olympiakos hosts Red Star Belgrade uh, and needs a win against Red Star Belgrade. Otherwise, uh, the Serbs are through to the Europa League. The big clash by uh, Tottenham has actually no implications on the table, but maybe Bayern can finish a perfect group stage. Um, and then in Group D, uh, it's also a tight one between Atletico and Leverkusen. We already know that um, Juve is through. Atletico plays at home to Lok Moscow. A win and win and in. It's more or less Leverkusen hosts Juve, probably hosting a reserve squad. So that's the Champions League action. In the Europa League there's also a bunch of uh, interesting games, not so in Group A. Uh, Group B is the one uh, where we have Copenhagen Malmö, the two uh, top teams at the moment. However, a draw is only enough for Copenhagen. Kiev, if they um, win at home to Lugano, they have a pretty decent chance of making it uh, through. They Then they need to also overcome the goal difference should Malmö win uh, to Copenhagen. But yeah, that's a really interesting group. And as I said, it's a derby between Copenhagen and Malmö. Uh, although they're two di different countries. Uh, group C, we have a head-to-head Krasnodar at Getafe for the last qualifying spot. Basel is already through. Group D, Lask. 
uh, can become first if they win at home to Sporting, PSV and Ain and Rosenberg are already out. Then Group E, uh, Cluj playing at home to Celtic, they need a point. Um, should Celtic win, Celtic is already through, should Celtic win uh, at Cluj or then Lazio has a chance by beating um, Ren away from home. But, you know, it's very speculative, uh, that one. Uh, Group F is surprisingly open, however, not so much because um, Arsenal has a huge advantage having won at home 4-0 over Standard. So, uh, in order for Standard to be dangerous to Arsenal, they need to win by at least four goals. Uh, no, by five goals to have a chance. Um, unlikely to happen. Frankfurt just needs to get a win at home over Vittoria de Guimaraes uh, and they are through. So uh, it's very much Arsenal and Eintracht. Um, then the late games, um, the Group G, as I said, is a crazy one. However, the two top teams at the moment have home games. Rangers plays against the Young Boys and Porto against uh, Feyenoord. So a home win for those or even a draw, we'll see them through in both cases. Although Porto a draw, uh, Porto plays, uh, a draw for Porto might not be enough, or could be. Oh, uh, it's complicated. It's complicated here. But yeah, uh, both home wins in, but this is a group to watch. Uh, in group H, we also have a head-to-head -head for a final qualification spot between uh, Ludogorets and Ferenc Varos. So that's going to be interesting. Um, group I all decided. Group J, we have also a head-to-head -head for a spot between uh, Gladbach at home uh, to Bajakshi here. Roma needs to get a point. Uh, and they are through uh, against a Wolfsburg. So I think Roma should be clear, but Gladbach and Bajakshi, yeah, that's a clear head-to-head. -head. Group K, everything decided, and Group L, also everything decided. Um, so that's what we're gonna watch during the week. Uh, let me know what you'll be watching. I'm probably watch conferences. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Salzburg-Liverpool and of course the last game, but there are quite some dice, uh, interesting dicey matchups in there that are worth watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.